I'm not sure what it means. It's slightly a poetic title, and uh, it's not meant to have a literal meaning. It's part of a kind of um, a seri ongoing series of works, and they're experiential pieces that um, explore uh, maybe the schism between object and image associations. So what does it mean to experience something and then think about something else uh, simultaneously? Uh, which is, I think, always symptomatic of the condition that we live in today. In this case, it's an inanimate object, a, a space, a physical space, imagining um, a landscape. And I'm interested in that, in that condition, trying to set up that condition. It's also, um, there's something informational about that, that that this structure could be an image and at, that it's imparting information. Basically, the computer is reading photographs and the photographs are four, there's four photographs of um, nature. I, I'm interested in the synthesis of somewhere between this thing I was talking about earlier, between object and image, and that as a kind of root of consciousness. You look at something and imagine something else, and we do it a hundred thousand times a day. You look at, I don't know, maybe you're driving your car, and you, but you're imagining a, a day in the country, something like that. You know, you're in a kind of atmospheric zone of the car, which is more than a machine, right? It's a private chamber. Like every experience, it's unregulated. You know, that I, I do, we, we all navigate space and time every day and make decisions based on that, moving through, moving through the world. Um, so art, I don't really see as any different. It, are there aspects that are carefully honed? Yes. Is color one of them? Yes. So is light, so is shadow, so is surface. There's probably other things I could add to that. But um, colored, most definitely it's, I guess, a vocabulary that um, I'm, I'm comfortable in using, probably because I trained as a painter, like most likely, although I'm not I've never really psychoanalyzed myself, but I, do, I am attracted to color. And, how, and I do think that that is, a, once again, a kind of core element of how we understand the world, all of us.